we never had all the money we wanted. We were probably outspent by 50 to 1. But we were never, ever daunted in that. And we just got up every day and did the best we can. Breaking news tonight in the race for the White House. That's exactly right. One hour ago, Ohio Governor John Kasich announced he's dropping his bid for the Republican presidential nomination. The decision now leaves Donald Trump as the only Republican still in the race. CBS 42 national correspondent Mark Meredith live in our Washington newsroom with the breaking details. And then there's one, Mark. Jim and Sherry, good evening to you. What a difference 24 hours can make. Because when we were talking this time last night, we were still talking about a three-man race, and that is no longer the case. You're talking about the biggest headline today, though. Ohio Governor John Kasich deciding his heart was just not in it anymore. He made the decision, as we were talking about less than an hour ago, speaking to his supporters in Columbus, Ohio. He was on his way to Washington this morning when he decided to turn the plane around and decided he just wasn't going to continue his campaign, realized the odds they just were not in his favor. This of course comes less than 24 hours after Ted Cruz, the Texas senator who had a lot more delegates already, decided he was going to pull out of the race as well. Here is just a little bit of what John Kasich had to say just moments ago. As I suspend my campaign today, I have renewed faith, deeper faith, that the Lord will show me the way forward and fulfill the purpose of my life. There is going to be a lot of talk of what's next for John Kasich at this point, because after all, he has been in this race for so long. There's always the possibility he could pop up as Trump's running mate. Donald Trump was asked about that today in an interview, and he said he's interested in vetting Kasich for the job. He is, after all, a sitting governor in Ohio. He's got some experience on the Hill. Whether, of course not, that will be a job that either men are looking for him, we'll just have to wait to find out. Plenty of interesting moments, though, just today alone. Reporting live in Washington tonight, I'm Mark Meredith, CBS. 42 News. Mark, thanks a lot. Stay with CBS 42 and the CBS Evening News for an in-depth look at what this all means in the grand scheme of things in the presidential race. It begins right after this newscast.